Okay, the next part of our setup is going to be um, identifying and plugging in all the different power cords. <clears throat> now the first cord that we're going to talk about is actually coming from your ballast, which is an electronic transformer that changes the power going to your light bulb to a usable form that it gets from the wall. Now if <clears throat> all the cords that we have are actually labeled, um, you can see that on one, on one end of the cord it says cool tube cord. That means that this cord is going to the light bulb. On the other side it says ballast cord, which you want to actually plug into a light timer, which we'll talk about in a different section so we can show you how to easily turn it on and off. But that basically plugs into a timer that goes into a uh, three-prong to two-prong adapter, and that plugs into a two-prong power cord, which is marked as your thermal switch, your thermal switch female end. Now the way that works is your thermal switch actually is inside the cabinet pre-installed there's a male end from it that gets plugged into your power strip you can see thermal switch male end and what happens is power comes from the power sweat from the power strip goes through the power strip or through the thermal switch that's inside the cabinet and if your cabinet gets above 105 Fahrenheit it turns the power off a, a circuit that's normally closed turns the power off to this cord and because the ballast is plugged into this cord through the timer, it ultimately turns power off to your heat source, which is your ballast and your light bulb. Okay, so that's just a safety feature that um, comes with the cabinet to ensure uh, that you don't have any kind of problem. Now, in addition to that, there's also another side uh, to that cord, which we have a fan and a water pump uh, plugged into. The reason being, <clears throat> if for some reason your uh, thermal switch cuts off, your air pump is just a, a tertiary um, uh, means of oxygenating your water and it won't have any effect on uh, your plant production or your plant's ability to live. Now the next fan that we're going to take a look at as we're pulling out here is your duct fan power cord. Now the way that power cord works is it <clears throat> more or less just takes the power from the six inch duct fan in the top of the cabinet and uh, just plugs directly in your power strip. Now the next one that we're going to take a look at is your bathroom fan exhaust power cord. Now that cord actually is the one that connects to your carbon filter. Now all these cords can stay plugged in all the time. There's no reason to have them on a timer. Um, the next cord that we'll take a look at is your water pump, which we actually just ran through earlier, and that just plugs straight into your power strip. Now, <clears throat> earlier in the section we'd also talked about the fans and their power cords, which actually run right along and plug right into the power strip yet again. So we have a fan on this side, a fan on the other side, and then the duct fan and your carbon filter fan. So in total we have one, two, three, four fans, all of which plug into the power strip. Now at the very end we have the AC adapter that um, supplied the power to your uh, fogger and uh, fogger flow unit. And that we want at the end because it's a large AC adapter and that way you have room. So now everything is plugged into your power strip. Um, and everything is marked in case you have any questions concerning the wires. And that is it for the wiring section.